I am Al Bundy here at the New Jersey State Capitol talking to state legislators on this very special edition of Meet the Leaders brought to you by Altice USA. Talking to me now, State Senator Ron Rice. Senator, there's much discussion about what's hot and what's not. One of the hottest topics has to be the legalization of recreational marijuana. In some cases, people already need to know that we have medical marijuana legal in this state. But you have some concerns, uh, many would call it pushback as it relates to this issue. What are your concerns? Well, my concerns are the concerns of most urban dwellers once you talk to them about the legalization of recreational marijuana, not medical. Most people support medical under controlled conditions. But we also know that in our communities with the alcohol, the stores, and all the other kinds of problems we have, that the legalization of recreational marijuana will put stores in our community, they call them dispensaries, but they're going to be stores that sell marijuana candy, marijuana oils, marijuana cupcakes and cakes, things that just doesn't sit in well with the urban communities. We also know that um, in other states that the number of newborn babies with THC on their brains because marijuana is legal in those states has grown significantly in those hospitals. We know the number of young people. What, what's, what's THC? What's that impact THC, on, that, on the health T, of that the, baby? The, the, well, it, it, it damaged the brains um, and function, and et cetera. Even in adults, it does the same thing, but the brains at the young person never really recuperate over it. The number of young people who now go into emergency rooms in those states, cauterized, et cetera, um, with marijuana-related illnesses has gone up tremendously. Um, the number of people who never used or thought about using any type of drugs or substance at all has gone up tremendously in terms of new users. Um, the number of, of, of college students has gone up tremendously. We'll now find out in those states that the black market is really flourishing even greater than it was before. How could that be now? Be. Even, even yeah. If we would make it legal, most people think that that would kill the black market. Well, what's happening is that if you take Colorado, for example, Nevada, the majority of the illegal marijuana was coming in from Mexico. And so when they made it legal in Colorado, what the Mexican cartels did, they stopped sending the marijuana to the state. That was the intent of making it legal. So what they're doing now, they're sending our people to the state from Mexico, and the people are legally buying licenses, so they're legally growing marijuana now in the states, and they're sending it back to the black market from Colorado. Mm. And what Mexico is doing, if you talk to DA, they are now sending more heroin to the street of Colorado. So now we have an increased use of marijuana, new people never use any substance abuse at all, and increased use of heroin. The number of people that we talk about opioid, they're not transitioning from opioid to marijuana in most cases. They're transitioning from opioid to um, heroin, heroin. And, but and also meth. Meth is being reproduced now because it's cheaper. And plus we know heroin is on the rise here in New Jersey big time, a lot because but of the opioid New Jersey condition, have but, another problem. but, but the yeah. heroin is also because it's That's inexpensive. Right. It's not, right. It doesn't cost a lot. And that is an illegal substance. substance. Yes. But stay with me yeah. for a second. Yeah. Let's talk about the opioid crisis. Okay. Talk to me about the fact that we know a lot of that's prescription. Yes. And yet at the same time, it really doesn't even make any difference in your socioeconomic status. Uh, right. People are getting hit with this crisis. It's actually a very chronic problem in New Jersey. Talk to me how that kind of relates in your concerns with uh, the mar legalizing recreational marijuana. Well, first of all, what you're doing is you're just adding to substance. We tell our kids not to do drugs, don't smoke cigarettes, in fact, we pass laws that you can't smoke in public places. But we're saying to the folk that it's okay if we pass marijuana and make it legal. It's okay for you to smoke it. Even if you become addicted, we'll just treat you as long as we can make some money. That's really what the message is to young people, so we're confusing them. But New Jersey has a bigger problem. If they talk to the DEA, they're going to find out that, and DEA, I talked to the DEA maybe three months ago, that's the drug enforcement agencies. They're concerned because in Columbia right now, understand that they are compressing pills that's going to come to the states in big numbers as opioids, but in fact they're going to be fentanyls. And so they are, they are concerned that there's going to be a floodgate there. Back now talk the about street. fentanyl, because so yeah. people don't know that that's a deadly killer, a very quick that's, deadly that's, killer. That, yes, that's synthetic um, drugs, etc. So we need to address this whole drug problem differently. And this stuff only became really public in terms of marijuana legalization and providing money for opioids um, recently because of the communities that, that opioids are impacting.
Now, hold on, let's yeah. stay there for yeah. a minute because yeah. you're talking about communities that's impacted, yeah. which probably is not always the poorest communities because now that's, it's, that's it's going it. to suburban, it's going to more affluent communities. But yes. more importantly, let me ask you something. Is this whole legalization just about money for yes. New Jersey? It's about money because, but it's being sold under the auspices of social justice, mm -hmm. meaning that there are more black people arrested than whites for using marijuana or drugs in general. That was the Colorado argument. So people bought into it and they legalized marijuana. But if you go to Colorado, the number of black people being arrested for the violation of the rules, the legalization of marijuana, are still being arrested three times to one, which tells you something wrong with the system. You don't legalize it. Then we talk about expungement in New Jersey. We promise black people, and particularly and black civil rights groups and leaders and legislators, that we're going to expunge records. The this state, is kind of a trade-off to, trade to get people but to the state support. We cannot, we cannot expunge records right away. If we can do that many ever, it takes six to ten years. So why pass a bill to legalize recreational marijuana for folk to make money on a promise that we might give you expungement? Because the bill just says that you, you can apply for it. It doesn't say you're going to get it. But let's stay at the money yeah, yeah. situation now. I've heard from some large city mayors, yes. they feel they wouldn't get their fair share, even if it was passed. They said if it was passed, like, like the state is taking way more than they would be able to, to receive. Well, see, the, the problem I have with city mayors, in particular urban mayors, in particular black mayors, to be honest about it, they are looking at the money and not at their people. They know what we're up against right now. They know our history of struggle. They know our history of drugs and how we've been treated. They know our history of arrest. And so you can't put money. There's, there's no number you can put on newborn babies being born with, with brain damage and adults and women with THC on the breast because they're breastfeeding or, or, or the kinds of detriment that comes to our community. But, but on the money piece, the mayors are saying that, look, even if we support this, you're taxing it but we're not going to benefit. It's going to cost us more to enforce your law while other folks make money. The argument at the state level, if we tax it too much, okay, then we, the businesses don't operate. So it's this catch-22. Mm -hmm. What has happened is that, um, quote, unquote, and I'm going to say it the way I always say it publicly, white folk who tra traditionally promulgate this stuff and get others to buy into it, including people in the state house, has sold the public a bill of goods. And that's why I tell the elected officials at all levels, don't go to, the, to Mrs. Smith down the street or Mrs. Goldstein house and talk about money. You go and tell them that they can put a store across the street selling these products, they're gonna tell you no. Mm. And so we're not taking the message to the people and, and that, that bothers me. Now, Senator, people need to know that you are a former yeah. police officer. What's your concern about the increase of crime if this is legalized? Well, first of all, we're getting shootings every other day. We're trying to reduce that. The crime is going to enhance itself. In Colorado, what is known as marijuana homicides is going up because in Colorado, you can't put the money in the banks under federal law. So a lot of money is in the business or at the home. So people actually being ripped off because of that. I think the point you're yeah. trying to get at is yeah. there's a a lot of cash involved in that cash. that sometimes can cash. cause it's increased crime or robbery. Oh, yes. And that's happening. We can document that, okay? We can document in Colorado that human trafficking is taking place. We can document... How's that affect, been impacted by the drug deal, though, in, in uh, human trafficking? The human trafficking is taking place because what happens is when they legalize, you have growers. So in New Jersey, for example, more of your, more of your growers on the farm side would probably be in places like Sussex and Warren County. So they use immigrants and they use college students. The college students who are legal, they are being raped and, and, and physically assaulted at these, these camps. This is documented. Immigrants now are being used to pick the pulp for, for the stores and for the marijuana. And so you have these things that we know in New Jersey, but we're not talking to the public about. Mm. And so it makes more sense to slow this thing down and put it in perspective before we move forward. It's not worth the dollars and cents. Yeah. Mm. Now look. We see a lot of home rule playing a part here. We have yeah. some communities that already have made legislation saying can't bring recreation marijuana in. Is that well? It's interesting oh. because there are about 50 municipalities, and majority of them are quote unquote middle class, um, white working class communities, or wealthy communities, or beach communities, who understand the kinds of additional problems going to be added to those communities. New Jersey leads the state in foreclosures. Urban counties like Essex and cities like Newark lead the cities and the counties in foreclosures. 
we're finally seeing in cities like Newark, Perth, Amboy, and elsewhere, folks saying, I'm going to go to New Jersey. I'm going to invest my money in those cities. I think there's some opportunities there, even with the problems they're having right now. But to talk about the legalization of marijuana, people are saying, wait a minute, I'm not going to raise my babies in a community to already have problems, and now you tell me you're going to legalize drugs. That doesn't make any sense to me. So all of this growth that we're starting to see uh, is, is going to actually start to slow down. We're out of time. We're out of time. But let me ask you one simple question. Are the votes there? In the well, the, if you talk to the Senate president, he would say the votes are there. You talk to others, the votes are there. I can tell you this, whether the votes are there or not, the majority of the people who want to vote for, who don't, who, who don't want to vote for it, that may vote for it, um, they know it's a bad bill, and arms are being twisted, mm. and commitments are being given, and you know they're talking about team, but there is no team when it comes to hurting people, particularly mm. people of color. I'm be quite frank about that. Mm. Okay, we're here in New Jersey, uh, check. Capitol, talking to state legislators about what's hot, what's not here in Trenton. And our special guest has been Senator Ron Rice here on Meet the Leaders. Thank you. Thank you.